Everyone knows you can't. Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Revelio. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. 
Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy or roses? Ditterly's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Ditterly will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Now remember, a wand is not a trowel. Hello. I saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Pavilion. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honour. And uh, Hufflepuffs too. At least you did. Revelia. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Uh. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers, I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest.
Revenia. Look at that! They'll tell them anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Rebellion. Revenia. Revelio. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton.
I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. But those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my... To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the Great Hall.
Ravenia. Don't you find it chilly? How nice to see you, my young friend. in the castle don't always have something interesting to say. Rebellion.
Velio. Revelio. Rebellion. This looks intriguing. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning. But I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. 
And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Sorona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. What are you up to now? I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Mummy! Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home. Ha especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see them, Mummy. They're beautiful. These horses with wings. Oh, oh, that's enough. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Now, why don't you do some Very well, Mummy. Hmm? Very well, Mummy. Rebellion. Revelia.
I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Revelio. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. I hope to see you again sometime. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. Ha, 
Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. I hope to see you again sometime. I thought Ramrock's loyalists would go. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, Bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Renrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now, but they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn.
because it feels. Rebellion. 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 Sometimes I do wonder if your eyes are still in your head. I really do. Who lived here, I wonder? Lyondale's not half as tough as it sounds. the ruins. I'm on the right track. It can feed a beast, or it can feed you. I prefer the latter.
Thank <laughs> you. 